Chaz Engineering have got a long-standing heritage in the manufacture of cutting tools, specifically for the aerospace sector. And we're here today in Sheffield to find out how Anchor have helped them on their journey. So we're here at Lomaz Engineering. It's a wonderful company, but maybe you can tell us just a little bit more. Yeah, the company was founded in 1978 by Peter Lomas, um, Ian Lomas's father. It was in a small unit on Hansworth Road. Uh, we moved down to uh, this new unit, or this double unit that we've got here in uh, 2006. So we've been here 12 years. Uh, the company's been going 40 years this year. And obviously uh, we're a, a, a big company in the, for manufacturing special tooling in the aerospace industry and general engineering and automotive. So is that where the majority of your business comes from, the aerospace industry? Yeah, we would say probably about 95% of our business is for the aerospace industry. That's both military and commercial, and that's for new tooling as well as uh, repair tooling. And the sign behind this is a, is a large array of, of, of tools. Is there anything you specialise in? Yeah, we do a lot of M42 products still, uh, as well as the solid carbide and carbide tipped. Um, we do some products obviously in uh, sintered high-speed steel as well which is the ASP side, to all like derivatives. So just to conclude, what's next for Lomaz? Well, it's going to be continual investment, both on uh, CNC products and obviously uh, people, like we said earlier. Obviously, we want to carry on continuing the, the great relationship we've got with our customers in the UK, uh, in Europe, and obviously over in the United States and the United Arab Emirates. So, Ross, Lomaz Engineering, you've had a lot of brand loyalty towards Anchor. What, why is that? Um, past experience with them, uh, we've got some older machines with them, we've got the two uh, smaller RX-7 machines and we've also got the model that predates this one before they went to the linear side of everything and uh, yeah like I said just past experience with them, no problems at all with them, service side, application side, they've always been good with us so yeah we stick with them. So how long has the relationship been going? Oh, a good six, seven years, maybe a bit longer, when I first started working on these machines uh, we'd only got the one so whenever we've looked at getting a new machine we've always fell, fell with anchor because like I said we've good experience with them can't fault the machine service side they're reliable and that, that's basically it really. So this is the MX-7 linear you say you had an MX-7 before yeah. so how does this compare the linear to the standard machine? Uh, the older the older one is still just as good as this I mean this one's obviously the main thing is the linear motors and everything uh, this one, if you just stood them side by side, there's probably not that much in it, but you can tell the difference with the linear motors, the speed of the way it rapids around the machine. Uh, the obvious things like the surface finish, the quality of the tool that comes off this machine is slightly better, although the, the older machine holds its own as well. Um, and that's, that's the main thing looking at it, the obvious things, just the linear motors. And Nomaz Engineering, I know there's big plans for the business. Do you would you consider buying more anchors as the business grows? Yeah, I'd definitely say so. Um, they've always done us proud. They've always... Everything we've asked the machine to do, it's done. We've not found a tool yet that we can't do on the anchor. So, yeah, I don't see why not. And that's the million-dollar question, really. You, know, what, you do all the stuff that other people don't want here, don't you? Everything you do is very, you know, very um, challenging. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't make you standard stuff, if you like. A lot of our stuff, or most of our stuff, is specials, whether it be extra long tools, multi-flutes, all that type of thing. And the software on these machines can deal with that as well as the standard stuff as well that we do. And I know you've got a steady on this machine. How does that help? Uh, the the travelling steady is probably the, the best feature we've got on this machine that suits us. Because like I say, for the, for the longer tools and the special things, we make tools up to like 10, 12 inch long. And without that steady, we'd, we'd struggle. And what other options do you have on the machine? Uh, we've got the automatic wheel probe, which uh, measures the wheel diameter, any run out on the wheel, the front surface, the back surface, the radius on the wheel, which always helps for doing your, your profile tooling. Uh, we've got the travelling steady, as I said, and then the standard things like the six wheel pack changer. That comes in handy having six wheels available to you, because when you're doing the more complex tooling, that does come in handy. Uh, we've also got the robot loader on this machine as well. As the same as we've got on the older machine as well. And, and that obviously, there's a perception you need to be making hundreds to, to, to warrant a robot loader, but that isn't the case, is it? No, not necessarily. I mean, we do batches up to like 100, 150. I mean, it is nice to come in in the morning and your batch is, is done, is finished, but we use it for 20, 30s off. Just put them on at night in the morning, you know that one's done, straight on to the next one. 
and also as well we can um, accommodate different sizes up we've got an, op an option on here as well with the pop-up steady as well so we can run a batches along along size as well not stuck to one size so we see a lot of anchor users and you all say the same thing about the controller you all love it the fact that it's conversational and very easy to program what would you say yeah i'd just say the same i mean we've had it from the beginning i've this has been the machine i've worked on from the beginning so i'm a little bit biased but i find it very simple straightforward any problems we've had which are very limited get in touch with anchor and they've always been good to us that way as well so with Anki, you have an option to program online or offline, and you've also got auto, uh, simulation software. Do you use these? Uh, yes, we do. I mean, on the this this machine's got slightly newer software than our older one, so you do actually get a, like a 3D preview of the tool as you're going along. But we do also have the, the simulator offline as well, which you can sit down and program while the machine's running as well. And what's the advantages of having it offline and 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 the simulator? Uh, offline is like I say, while it's running, you can be doing your next tool, or it's also good for quoting purposes as well someone comes in with a drawing and just can we make this we can have a look at the simulator before we even get to a stage where setting the machine up to try and prove one off so just to conclude you can do, you can be doing step drills you know drills end mills pretty much everything on this machine reamers yeah yeah we do long reamers short reamers long drills end mills there's nothing we've come across that we can't do on on this machine it's very versatile